A vector space is a set of vectors with addition and scalar multiplication that satisfy the axioms of addition and scalar multiplication, which are shown here below. There are five axioms of addition and five axioms of scalar multiplication. A subset of vectors in Rn is any set of vectors in Rn. A subspace, however, is a subset of a vector space satisfying the subspace axioms, which are listed below. Notice here there are only three subspace axioms. For this problem, we're told to let z be the set of polynomials in P3, where P of zero equals one. That is, this is the set of degree three or less polynomials that evaluate to one when we plug in zero. Take the usual algebraic sense of addition and scalar multiplication. So to begin, because we know the polynomials in set z are in P3, but are equal to one when the input is zero, all the polynomials in the subset z must be in the form of p of t equals one plus a sub one t plus a sub two t squared plus a sub three t cubed. Notice when t is zero, the function value or polynomial is equal to one. Since z is a subset of p3, which of these subspace axioms are satisfied? So first, z contains a zero vector. Well, the zero vector is zero in P3, and notice the polynomial P of t in the subset z can't be zero because we know the constant term must be one. And therefore, z does not contain the zero vector. We do not check this box. Next, z is closed under addition. Let's consider the sum of two polynomials that we know are in the subset z. Let's say, for example, one plus t squared plus, let's say, one plus t plus t cubed. Again, notice how both of these polynomials will be in the subset z because they're in the form of p of t shown here where the constant is one. And notice the sum is two plus t plus t squared plus t cubed this polynomial is not in the subset z because notice how here, the constant is two, not one, and therefore z is not closed under addition. We do not check the box. Third, z is closed under scalar multiplication where the scalar can be any real number. So let's consider, let's say, three times a polynomial in the subset z. For example, one plus, let's just say, two t squared plus three t cubed where the polynomial is in subset z because it's a degree three polynomial and the constant is one. But notice how the product is three plus six t squared plus nine t cubed. And once again, because the constant is three, not one, the product is not in the subset z and therefore z is not closed under scalar multiplication, which means we check the last box, none of the subspace axioms are true for the subset Z. I hope you found this helpful.